The new Star Citizen Alpha 3.21.1 patch just hit the EPTU branch and we're just going straight into it. In this specific one, they do have some updates pertaining to feature updates. Under location, they have new Babbage Lighting Polish Pass. Under AI, they have FPS AI Behavior Integration. It says with this latest 3.21.1, we have completed the full integration of FPS AI behavior for, from Squadron 42. These updates have been polished and worked on outside of Star Citizen release builds until now. Will vastly improve overall difficulty, reaction time, animation, behavior, and other traits. It may combat with them a more dangerous but rewarding experience. Under the gameplay category, they have Data Heist Mission Polish Patch. It says Mission Art and Audio VFX Polish Pass increased Data Heist personal cooldown dependent on difficulty and decreased the mission deadline from two hours to one hour. They have a Polish Pass also on the Tractor Beam UI, Balance Update for Tractor Beam, Tolerance, Rotational Speed, and Towing Behavior. Did a heist mission art and audio VFX polish pass as well as further new player experience mission polish pass and bug fixing as well. Under ships and vehicles, they have the Argo SRV art and lighting polish pass as well as the Argo SRV tractor beam arm art polish. They also have final crusader C1 spirit art LOD and geometry polish pass. Under weapons and items, they have either a grappling recoil to the tractor beams. Under bug fixes, they have quite a few. They fix an issue where hab elevators can infrequently fail to spawn. They also fix an issue where players are considered trespassing after completing a UGF mission, destroying any ships nearby the facility. They fix an issue where players cannot send party invites or join in on, on contracts from the main menu until entering a party within the persistent universe they also fixed an issue with the light in the cockpit is too bright pertaining to the 600i they also fixed an issue where players are unable to climb the ladder in the command access room this is for the drake caterpillar as well as loot containers can should no longer be deleted by the entity density manager they also fixed an issue where t posing went using the caterpillar tractor beam engineering station they also fixed an audio issue it says when the tractor beam is engaged in the srv constant high pitch frequency is played so that's been fixed that's a good fix actually the grunt ai do not leave their spawn closet unless the player interacts with them so that's been fixed when a, when a server is destroyed the disconnect screen vanish after a while the screen becomes blank they also fix an issue causing ship components to not always save properly to the long-term persistence they also have eight client crashes four server crashes they fixed a server memory corruption issue if you're a new or veteran player and you're looking for an organization you can check out mine the phase one industries and you can find our discord down below if you're interested make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video